Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to do a summer succulent tour. Okay, let's get started. I need to get oriented where I'm going to do my tour. So we're going to start from the left all the way right there. We're going to that side of my garden after. It's going to be a long video if I have to do one by one. It's okay, right? We have to check out all our succulents. You've been following my video. Welcome back. And as you know, we started this like three months ago. I actually have a video, but look at that. Look at the string of pearls. It's like growing. And we're having babies here. See? Yes. To this. And on this side right here, look at my aloe vera. We've got so many babies. And I only water this uh, this aloe vera once once a week. And I have this aloe vera pot here. <laughs> that is overgrown. There's calico, there's everything is here. But they're so pretty. Look at that. I'm not sure what the name of this, but look at that. Look. They are growing. This one is growing, and then there's sedum, and then there's string of pearls. This one is so funny because I thought this had, this is a red plant. I thought this is a red flower. I think this is pulvinata. I'm not really sure, but I think that's what it is. I have a red one right there. In the winter, they are red. But for some reason, in the summer, they became like that. What is that color? Yellow? Yellow and pinkish. And they look so pretty. Purple hearts right there. They have different colors in the summer. Like this spread ives right here. This is red, like brownish in the winter. But in the summer, they're just like pale. See, they're like pale. I'm not really sure, but I, it looks to me that they are shrinking. And there's my Adolfi right there. I just feel like they're not too happy. Maybe I need to water them some more. See there. This one looks like it's dying, but they're not really dying. And the lovely rose right there, she's having babies, but she looks like shrinking. I did this arrangement like about a month ago, and here they are. And there's another one, Echeveria. Look at that. I also replanted this like two months ago and they're just growing. And I replanted that and they're just growing. They're just growing. They're like getting bigger. But I thought they are like slow grow in the summer. But it looks like they like the hot weather. So I think I need to water them some more. I, I only water them once a week. But the temperature is really. And look at this dwarf jade right there. Pine tree, mini pine tree. Those casulas, and look at that. This is actually Ovata, Hummel Sunset. I love Hummel Sunset, but I think they are very sensitive to heat because the ones I have on the other side that has full sun, they get burned. And the Awarthia right there, this one needs to be taken out. Rubritinctum, Crisula, right there, look at those babies. And look at that, they are just slowly. I changed this pot two months ago and they're just getting big. See like this one, 
in the summer it's all about maintenance taking this all out and look at this calico hearts this plant I have been switching spots because I'm not sure which spot would she like she likes on the other side but she did not like it and when I put her here they get morning sun and afternoon shade and look they give me blooms and look at that the mother plant of that actually like dying because of the winter and I took uh, the fresh cut the fresh one the one that was not dead from the mother plant then look at it grew so and here's it here's this she looked like to me it looks like she's shrink shrinking but oh well I'll just water them and this one she's gotten so big too black prince she's not black but she has different color. I guess they change color in the summer. And look at that. She's like dying, but oh my God, look at all those babies that she's given me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably, but she's actually not very, she's actually not very dry. So I'm not sure. I'll probably need to check out if there's some Millie bugs in there, see? And this one is variegated, mini bell variegated. So pretty, look at that. And Crassula ovata, variegated. And of course, sedum. I have a lot of those. Those are my native plants, so I get a lot of those. And this one, look. Euphorbia pseudoglobosa. I love her. Look at that. And Devil's Horn. Echeveria purposorum. Right there. In this one, I'm not sure what's the name, but I have a lot of those. Agavoides. Look at that, they're just growing so big. Echeveria Chihuahua Yemsi. Uh, look at Echeveria Chihuahua Yemsi. And look at that one. I swear this was red in the winter. I even have a video of it. I'm gonna go look for it and put it here. I'm gonna insert it on this video because I swear she was beautiful red. And look at that. Now she's like, I don't know yellow still some some re redness but and oh my god look at this big fred ives right there there this sedum right here this is a common plant in my yard so i have a lot of these i can tell you is this one right here i remember it got mealy millibugs right there i remember it has millibugs but what i did is i sprayed it with water when i water them i just like sp spray them really hard and medusa right there look at my hamel sunset she's not happy i don't know what's wrong with her but she's not too happy look at my madagascar she is just growing so many babies like I thought she died because she didn't give me anything but look at that now this this fell it was windy and it fell and look at that the top one came out so I have to fix that that's easy fix the side right here I have this cactus and some Echeveria, look at that, it's so beautiful. Um, I forgot the name of that one, I know I have it somewhere in my Facebook, 
we found the name, but then I forgot to write it down. That's the Vicks plant and my variegated. Look at that. She's so beautiful. And this one right here, just giving me a beautiful flower. Okay. This one, <laughs> I don't know what's in this one, but it has everything. It has calico, it has Crassula, Arubri Tinctum, Vix Plant, everything is in that, but she's pretty right there on her own. And look at that, corn, Mexican corn or something. I'm lost, I lost my brain today. And look at that. Look. And a white aloe right there. I have a mix of sedum and all my just I just stuck everything there. And look how worthy I there's babies right there. See. So on the one that's in here, of course, aeonium. They're just dormant in the summer, so they're not really doing anything. I don't really water a lot of these because of the aeonium. I don't want aeonium to just, you know die on me what happened is if you water them so much and they're dormant this stem will get over water and will just break the plant of aeonium and vix plant right there now let's go to this baby plants that i have they're still growing i have the echeveria tango Look, even the weed grows in here. Look at that. What the? So pretty. And the Aeonium is so strange. This Aeonium is so strange. Look. The black rose, I think. But there is a green aeonium right next to it there's only one of that and moonstone right there these are my small little plants they're so very fragile i'm not even sure if they're already rooted but look at my cotyledon she's okay i water them once a week That's Graptopetalum superbum variegated mini bell. I'm not sure what's the name of that, but isn't she pretty? Oh my God, she looks so pretty. And this one, thriving. Graptopetalum pachypilum blue, blue bean. And this one is Echeveria queen variegated is that variegated i didn't see any variegation german champ so these are our babies these are my fragile plant that i still need to take care of really really uh it has a netting so it's not that hot in here and i water them at night i watered them the night before and this one is sedum Atlantides, you know. but it was some um, look at that. So hopefully it's gonna stay like that. And there. Now, remember the aloe that we cut out from this plant? Now she's giving me another one. Look at that. A variegated aloe. Look at all the fallen leaves on this side. And see how big she is. She became. That's a Madagascar. I have a ghost plant right there. Chocolate soldier. And a sedum. Graptopetalum. And this purple. I think this is Graptopetalum superbum. 
right there. If I'm wrong, please let me know, but it doesn't really matter. They just look so pretty. Even if I remember the name and I will forget too. So, and this is Robert Tinktum. I don't know, maybe it's all in my mind, but they look sad. Now let's go to this wall right here. And the cotyledon that actually grew. Look, see. Ruby red. So beautiful. I think this is clavatum. I think. Yeah. Aeonium right here. Pink witch. This is actually pink witch. But it's dormant in the summer. So we hang in there, okay? And then we'll see when, oh, okay, so there's some sunlight right there chocolate soldier that has a pretty flower that I actually did not cut right there this is kind of messy here but it's okay look <laughs> these are the plants that I still need to pot up but look look at that she's just overgrowing so leave it there that's a candle holder that I put pots and this is dolphin right there baby necklace look but this baby necklace is smaller than the ones I have I'll show you see that one that's a bigger baby necklace than the, than the ones over there Now this one, I need to cut those. Sedum clavatum. I am going to start planting my babies in this uh, little pot like that. See, that one grew. Oh, hold on a second. That one started growing. And that one too started growing. Look at that. But this one, oh my god, I need to change the pot on this one. I didn't really want to touch it, but this looks so beautiful. But it's in a very small pot. I'm not sure if I need to plant it right, replant it right now or not yet. Looks like this time is the growing season. Maybe I need to put it in a bigger pot so it will grow bigger. My baby, see? This one I'm actually preparing to put it in my landscaping over there. But I'm going to start doing this. Look. See? Putting them in a smaller pot. So if I put them in a smaller pot, then they are going to start growing bigger. Then they can grow bigger. Bear paw right there. Look at the Aeonium. Aeonium is just not doing good in the summer. See? Okay, there's our Kalanchoe doing really good. And look at my Sedum Adolfi. Sedum Adolfi is just giving it, it's like amazing colors. Black Prince is not Black Prince, but it's so good. To me, right now, as long as they're healthy and there's no mealybugs, that's the most important thing. So much cobwebs. We have to just hang in there until, until maybe in about a month when it's not too hot. But in the meantime, to prevent mealybugs, we have to take all this dead leaves right here. So that's what I've been doing. Taking all those dead leaves, taking all these dead blooms, maintenance. This one needs to be repotted. See, it needs to be repotted. I'm gonna repot that one. But look at this. See, they're just doing their own thing, growing. Even this one right here. What is this? Sinisho Jacobson. She's just doing her thing, growing. This one is slow grower because it's aeonium. Look at that. And a Hamel Sunset. The way I see it, if they bloom in the summer, then they're fine. Then they're good with the heat. We have extra heat. It's extra hot this summer. 
or maybe it's just because it's summer. That's the rubber tinctum and look. That is sedum adolfi. Now look at this other sedum adolfi. I think it depends on the exposure of the sun. See how, what's the difference? And see that one? Because if you look at it, that's behind. Now look, she's giving me flowers, so pretty. She's just standing right there, my little frog. She was dying a little bit last week. I watered them, so I probably need to water them twice a week. And I, I'm starting to make some of these um, hanging plants. I'm going to put some hanging plants right there. And look at that. Haworthia, Venosa. There. I guess I can't complain, really. They're growing really good. So, so satisfying to see them growing and looking so like, oh, look at that. That's the Echeveria giving me flowers right there. That's beautiful. My arrangement with the angel, still doing good. I have a variegated of this. What do you call this one? Tiger paw something? Now this one, my last video, I said I was gonna take this, I was gonna take that, but I don't have the heart to put, take that apart. That's why it's still there. Here. And that's it for my succulent tour. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. Oh, before I forget, I'm starting to make this hanging plants right here. See, look. right there so i'm going to that's going to be one of my project to fill all these with hanging plants like that i think they're going to grow anyways thanks for watching please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to get alert for more videos bye now